Now it's become part of London's skyline. The Emirates cable car opened in time for the 2012 Olympics, linking the Greenwich Peninsula to the Royal Docks on the other side of the Thames. But 10 years on, the search is still on for a new sponsor to offset the cost of keeping the cable car going. Uh, we can join Thomas McGill, who can tell us more. Thomas. Yes, Riz. Well, on a day like today, there is certainly no doubt why, about why passengers would want to use the cable car. I can tell you that the views from a way up there are pretty impressive. And in fact, it's those views that might just hold the key to the future of the cable car. Bosses at Transport for London certainly hope so. They themselves describe the journey as the most Instagrammable view in London. And already many agree there are hundreds of images and videos out there on TikTok, on social media, on Instagram, all being shared by viewers. And of course, that is helping to put this place on the map. Take to the air on London's only cable car and enjoy a truly unique experience in East London. Picture perfect clickbait. The Emirate Line cable car is proving popular on social media. And on the ground, it seems this is all helping to attract tourists from far and wide. I think I saw it on TikTok, actually. Yeah, yeah, and I just found it with Googling things to do in London. <laughs> and what did you think about it on TikTok when you watched it? I thought it was cool and I wanted to do it. We just saw it on our YouTube channel and we wanted to go, so that's why. <laughs> it's a, it looks so amazing, so that's why I wanted to go. <laughs> yeah. Now you've been on it, do you think it was good value for money? What yeah, you... definitely. Yeah, definitely. Ten pound. So for both of us. For both of us. Yeah. Five pound each, but definitely worth it. Yeah, for the view you get anyway. Yeah. I think it should be five pounds. You know, for one, it was five pounds to go and then five points back. So the cable car, of course, is not without its issues. As you heard there, some think it's too expensive. Others today told me that they think it simply doesn't go anywhere. And of course, there are those passenger numbers. If we take a look, a little closer look at those, we can see that back when it opened 10 years ago, 1.73 million people used it in 2012. But by 2015, that had dropped to just shy of 1.5 million. And then by 2019, just the year before the pandemic, they dropped further to 1.2 million passengers using the service. So with all that in mind, and with just two months left to the lucrative Emirates contract or sponsorship coming to an end, the big question is, will they be able to find another sponsorship that can, can, can uh, keep the future of this, or does it all just hang in the balance? We have listened to the market for commercial sponsorship and I think what they're telling us is, is shorter bursts of sponsorship arrangements are more likely uh, uh, for us in, in the future rather than one long term contract. So our aim is to secure those going into the future but actually we've got a pretty robust business plan with or without sponsorship in the short term. So with two months to go then, are you speaking to people? Is there sponsors, commercial sponsors interested in taking over? Yes, there, there are conversations and there's a lot of interest taking part. Without a sponsor, is there ever a risk that it could close? Well, in terms of our longer term plans, we wouldn't rule anything out for any for, for something like the, the, the cable car, but, but it's in a really good position and there are no plans whatsoever to close it. In fact, it's never been more successful as, as a business. And, and the, customer's feed, the customer feedback that we get uh, and all the social media and all the sort of really positive vibes about, uh, uh, about this service um, is, is that we've got all the right plans in place to make it even more successful in the future. Well, Danny Price went on to be completely unapologetic that, to mark that although this place is a uh, experience and a tourist attraction, it is also a vital part of London's transport infrastructure. Of course, as you heard there, what he couldn't say is what it will look like and what it will be called in the future.